Hi everyone, Michelle here. I thought I'd come on today and just do a quick flip through of three of my newest journals. Um, thank you for coming and thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to try to make it quick as usual. So we're going to start with this one. Um, these journals are each two signatures. Uh, this being the first one, that's the image on the front. There's the, the spine, two signatures in the spine. And that's the back. So we'll just start it up here. And this is the, the, the this is the front page. It's it's kind of a soft cover journal, um, which is is quite nice to work with. I think. Um, anyhow, it's it's a fabric, it's a fabric that I um, distressed a little bit and you know kind of played around, played around with it. So here's the beginning. Uh, in this first pocket, we have um, a journaling card. This was um, an Artie Mays, one of her freebies. And so it's a, I just made it into a journaling card, and that's in the front pocket. This is the first page. It's got a little bit of a, um, you know, a bulb pin with um, some embellishment there. And um, so it's just kind of filled with a bunch of a bunch of pages and you know um, journaling spots things to play with <laughs> uh, this was an old um, like a actually it was a placemat they were round placemats and um, it had four of the flowers so I just kind of cut it into quarters and and use them for pockets got some music page here um, you know a little embellished music page and a tag that can be journal on. There's another, you know, sort of collaged um, pocket with a coffee dyed ephemera. And then um, in this pocket, we have some more ephemera, this, an embossed tag, and just a, like a little journaling sheet. And then dictionary page, uh, like comp composition, like composition paper, and then um, embellished here with a with a you know ribbon, buttons, and this cute little pocket with a little mouse on it, and with this um, journaling tag inside, you can journal on the back. Coffee dyed paper. This tag was inspired actually by. Um, Yvonne Preston, she has an, or, um, like a tutorial on her YouTube channel showing how she made those tags. And then um, we have some more pockets here with some uh, vintage ephemera, some more vintage ephemera. And these are, you know, just kind of collaged, collage sheets. And then in this pocket, there's a little mushroom um, stamp on some handmade paper in that little pocket and that's the center of that first signature uh, this is a little glassine bag um, that's just been embellished it's got a little pocket there with uh, another piece of handmade paper that's been stamped with um, I think it's Tim Holtz the Tim Holtz stamp and that's the pocket and then um, just a little collaged sheet and then that glassine bag opens up like that and then um, lots of journaling space in this journal lots of room to write and then another little collage this was done on an index card and um, another journaling card there and then some more, some more pages to play with. Got a little belly band here with, um, this is um, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. I don't remember the name of the, the set, but um, if you go on to her Etsy, you can, you can find her printables there. And then this was, I believe this is also Artie Mae's, um, I'm not sure. I don't remember if it's a freebie or not. I'm sorry. I didn't keep track of 
everything that I used because a lot of this I made quite a while ago and um, yeah just didn't didn't recall it all this is um, this is another um, coffee dyed like I put the paper on a like a cookie sheet with a bunch of holes in it and it made that design which is pretty cool this is actually um, a paper clip and I'm, I meant to put a dangle on and I'm for I forgot but I um, I'll definitely do that before it goes out this pocket has a little it's just a little um, card telling you about what to do with a junk journal and my information you know like my social medias and where you can find me at and then this is another um, journaling tag inside of this pocket and that just goes in there and then this little this little tag is also ephemeris vintage garden um, this page here this opens up for it's got a little envelope in it with a a little journaling like a little journaling area and that just goes into the little envelope all sewn and I had it how did I have it in there on top of that and then that opens up and it's just a like an image from from cardstock okay then this is um, a decoupaged index card and you open that up and it's got a little tuck there with a, a decoupage library card. This one here is a little, um, a little ephem like ephemera booklet. It's got a little tag, a uh, journaling tag in the front. And then you can open it up and it's got an, a, um, this is ephemera's vintage garden um, journaling card. And it's just kind of popped into those slots, kind of like a, you know, a little card. And that just goes in there. This is some music paper that I I just um, glued and then sewed on top of uh, a piece of cardstock. This here is a little pocket and an embellished paper clip. There's nothing in the in the pocket. Um, these books are already filled with so many items that I thought I would just leave some of it for you know for your own stuff for your things. Um, obviously you can move things around and do it how you like and then lots of writing spots and that's the center of this signature and it's got on the string it's got um, it's got like I just put two little buttons and so then they dangle they dangle outside of the book like that and um, there's not really a tuck spot this one here is a little tuck um, and it's just kind of a stamped decoupa or collaged page. And then, oh, did I stick? Oh, I unstuck. Anyway, <laughs> uh, just a decorated page. And then there's another little flower. This is um, tracing paper with a, a doily inside. Some more writing paper. And then this one has the two writing coffee dyed writing sheets and uh, like a little decoupage or collaged pocket. And then there's another pocket there for you to fill. This one here was sewn together with some fabric down the center. And then this is the back of the book with a really large um, journaling tag another collage journaling tag and then that's the last page where there will be another I will put another dangle on there and then the back of the book with another pocket and then this one will close up with with that ribbon and this is the next one this is um, um, a, like a, a I guess it's like a doily it was a large doily that I just rather than um, attach the whole thing like it it's it can come off the book um, but I I just thought I preferred that than than gluing it just because then it gives you options on how you want your book you can you're definitely more than welcome to glue it on or just leave it as a as a way to sort of protect the fabric of the book 
um, you know, like this, this, this fabric, it would just help it, you know, stay sort of cleaner maybe while you're, while you're handling it or moving it around. Anyhow, <laughs> just my thought, my thought process when I was, when I was making the book, it's another soft cover, um, fabric book and it's got the, it looks like, I guess it's like a lace or crochet in there. So I made that at the po as the pocket, and then it's got this really pretty journaling card in the front. This is the first page, which is a pocket in here, in there. Um, then the next page, it's got um, an altered paper clip. So you can attach things either on that side or, you know, however you like. And then this little pocket holds another one of Artie Mays's um, little postcards and a tag and then this pocket has you know another writing a eph writing ephemera a collaged a collaged pocket there this is a little collaged um, index kind of like an index card it's got a little tag inside the the envelope and then it's got a little tag in in the under like just behind there then that opens that way and it's got some journaling space this is just a it was um just a collaged piece that like a master board I had made and so I'd cut out a bunch of the 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 cards and um, this one I just put a hinge on it and added it to that this one's um, from an old book an old floral book and put that in as a page and then then some Edith Edith Holden I just sewed it on to the side like that. This is a glassine bag that I um, just stamped on it with some, and it's got some vintage ephemera in it in in that one as well. And then some writing space. This is good writing space. It, there's a pocket here. On the inside, it's got um, a tag. And then those three little areas could be writing spaces as well. This one here's got this lace that I attached to the flap and that opens up. There's some writing space there and there's an, a big pocket there. And then this one's got the buttons on the center string as well. Then we've got some more, more writing space, lots of writing space in these. Lots of places to decorate. I just embellished that page a little bit. This one here's got some music page, mu you know, music paper um, or piano paper running down the middle of it like that. This is the other side of that index area or card. Like I just hinged two index cards together and made a front and a back, and it's got a little tag there and a little tag there in that pocket. This pocket has um, writing paper in it. And then behind it, it's got another Artie Mays um, from her freebies, I think. And then this one has this from Ephemera's Vintage, Ephemera Vint, Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And then this is the tag that's got my information and what to do with a junk journal. And then some more paper. There's a little pocket there with that um, another tag inspired by Yvonne Preston. Um, and that just slips in there into that pocket. And then this one here, I, I can't remember the book, but it's, um, it's kind of Victorian flower book. Anyway, some of the pages were really pretty, so I just made little slits in them and and then just put little, just pieces of ephemera so that, you know, it shows that there's pockets in there. This is a sheet of music paper with piano paper sewn to it. This opens up with an envelope and it's got some writing paper in it. And then this here has a tag in, the po in that pocket. And just, you know, this is a little, t not really a tuck spot, but 
it's a good it's good it's good writing space here and then a piece of um, baking paper I think we call it parchment and then that part of that floral book I just hinged it then I, uh, there again and then this is just a, from a book and I um, just put a tag in there and made a little window with tracing paper and you can actually write on this tracing paper which is kind of got a cool effect um, or you could just leave a blank too and then there's another collaged pocket with a large collage tag for journaling and then the back of, or another part of that floral book and then this page here index card coffee dyed I just hinged it with washi and um, in this one it has this little card for writing in the front and then inside it's got a right um, like another journaling card and then in here we've got this is also a pocket here you could put something in there and then lots of writing spots and now a little tag in there that's from another floral book that I have and it is a uh, writing tag and that goes in there. And then there's more tissue paper window and parchment. And then in this pocket, we have another piece of um, handmade paper that I just stamped with, with uh, like wheat, I guess, or flowers. I'm not sure what it is. And then this is uh, an index card decoupaged with a napkin. And then you open it up for that pocket there. And I just popped another one of uh, Ephemera's Vintage Garden item in there. This is a little journaling card that just opens up like that. And that's a, that's a pocket or a tuck spot as well. And then um, this little dangly stuff on the tab. And this is the back of that floral book page that, that um, I just cut the slits into and then sewed it. And then it's got a little journaling tag in there. And I put it like that. It's the, little, it's the little circle tab sticks out. And that's the back of the book with another journaling card in, in the pocket. And so that's that one. And then this one, both signatures have the button dangles at the bottom. And then this is the third book that opens up like this. And, and again, I didn't sew it on so that you can take it off when you're using the book. But when it's on, it sort of protects the book and keeps that fabric from getting too dirty, um, you know, from handling or, uh, you know, using it. Here's the inside of this book. So this is the front pocket page. And it's got this large collaged journaling tag. And then this one here, this page opens up like this for journaling. It's just, uh, you know, hidden secret journaling. This one's got some more of Artie Mays's um, postcard there. And then a piece of handmade paper that was stamped. This one here, this is a large pocket at the top of this page and lots of writing spots in this journal as well. Some coffee dyed paper and and some you know music paper. Uh, an embellished ruffle there with some buttons. This little pocket has more ephemera from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. This is a tissue paper that I just put uh, part of that floral book inside. More Artie Mays ephemera and then there's a little postcard or a little um, paper clip there with some beads on it and there's a card in there and the little another handmade paper stamped this one here um, I tore out the tissue or the tissue paper just so that 
it was easier to see the background. This one here has got this tag in it for, and then it's for journaling on the back, if you want. And then on in here, I've got a taller tag. These tags were inspired by Tracy Fox. She has a tutorial on them too, on her channel. This is um, like an envelope, one of those envelopes. There's nothing in it, but it does open up. Um, and it's got a lot of room for, for to put items in it. This is um, an old postcard, journaling postcard. You could journal on it. And then there's a little pocket here with some vintage ephemera. And it's all, all been coffee dyed. There's the other side of that. There's another, like a hinged it. So you've got two of these envelopes in here. This one here just opens up to a little, this tag here, which is like a little journaling tag. And that just pops in there. This one here is another journaling card tag for journaling. Pops in there and then once again, tissue paper that you can, you can write on. And then this has some more vintage ephemera in it. It's got um, a receipt. These ones here have the carbon in it, which is kind of cool as far as paper is concerned. And um, yeah, you can just journal on that, all of that, or use it in your own collages or however you want to use it. So the tissue paper with the, um, the floral book page inside, this pocket has an embossed tag. And then this one has the bulb pin with some more fibers hanging from it. And then um, more ruffles. And then another pocket up here. And this one here has some writing paper and a couple of little tags. This one is another um, opener, like it opens to write in. And now into the second signature, the index card that's been decoupaged with napkin opens up to a big writing area. And then um, this was um, purple cabbage dyed paper. This one here has a guest check that's been collaged, um, but good for writing. You can write in the front, you can write in the back. And there's a little embellished pocket. Coffee dyed paper. And then um, another one of the tags inspired by Yvonne Preston. Writing paper, avocado dyed paper, just embellished with a, you know, a fussy cut flower. This was um, some paper that I made. I did a tutorial on, on just writing, writing surface, like writing paper. And um, and then I just printed that and made like made copies of it. There's a pocket and a journaling card in that pocket. Another pocket with with some writing coffee dyed writing paper inside of it. Center of the signature and this one's got the buttons on it and the little knots in the string as well. This one has um, a tag. This one here is um, just a little tiny tag that I popped in there. And then that writing, that writing paper again. And this here has, um, it's got a, two little tuck spots for writing items. And then in the back, it's got another little tuck for a piece of handmade paper where I printed the owl. So, and that's just hinged onto that page like that. And then this book has this one. Um, this is the tag. This is the tag in the front with some fiber on it. And then that goes in there like that. Imagination is more important than knowledge. Albert Einstein. And that opens up to another journaling card 
just popped into those little tuck spots. And that closes like that. And then that just goes in there. Or you can put it wherever you like. <laughs> Coffee dyed paper. And there's the tag with my information on it and how to use a junk journal. And um, there's a little slot there. You could put a picture in it or, you know, your own creation. And another journaling card, a large journaling card. Fits into that pocket at the back. All right, guys, that's it. These journals, if you're seeing this video, these journals are now in my shop. And... Um, yeah, so thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.